Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, the spiritual game is not a joke. Yes, 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 it's not a joke. Not a joke. Not a joke. I'm learning about myself. I'm learning the truth about spirituality. Um, I'm just learning a lot. You know, I'm just learning a lot guys get in touch with the lands of the spirits did I see that right? the spirits the spirits of the land hi mama mystic hey bridge elegance how are you guys I was just on here to let you guys know get in touch with the spirits of the land because it's crazy. It's crazy that I'm barely really learning about the spirits, the spirits of the land, because I did a house cleansing. I did a house cleansing. Peace, peace, love, peace. How are you guys doing? Mama Mystic, you want to go live? Yes or no? I know I like to drag everybody on. Since you on here, let's let's make this a party real quick. <laughs> a spiritual party. Talking about divine feminine, the principles of divine feminine. <laughs> hey goddess. Peace, peace, peace. I'm driving. What's going on, goddess? Nothing much. You're going to get the baby's diapers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You... <laughs> I'm like, great. How you... Down to one diaper. How did I let this happen? <laughs> How are you doing? Yes. Yes, girl. Um, I've been doing so much meditation and and talking to the spirits. Um, um, it's funny because my uh, my um, my relationship with the spirits is like real informal. Mm -hmm. Like I would talk to them like I'm talking to any good friend. And and I never knew that coming from religion, they teach you you have to be really, you know. Mm -hmm. Wor worshipy and really, you know. Yep. So yeah, yeah. I was cleansing my house, and as I was cleansing my house, they were telling me that I'm disrupting spirits that were here for a long time already. And I said, "Well, it's time to go." Because in my head, I'm thinking, "Okay, these are lost spirits. Let me take them out. Why are they here?" <laughs> Come to find out, these are sacred giant spirits that are protecting the land that I'm telling to vacate. And I'm like, oh, shoot. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? It's like what we have to realize is that a lot of us, like a lot of our homes are built on burial grounds. So the house is going to have an energy itself, a spirit itself. So sometimes it can seem demonic, like, oh, I'm trying to get you to move. But at the end of the day, it's really just trying to get you to work with that energy that you're laying your head upon every night. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, because... Uh, I didn't know that. I feed her. <laughs> Who feed the house? It gets coffee. Huh? I said our house gets coffee every morning. Yeah, how's that? We feed the house. Like, I do, do the pipes, do the drain. Upstairs and downstairs, yes. sinks and toilets. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're explaining to me the house itself has consciousness. It, it, it just so, runs so deep. And I'm like, well, no one taught me any of this. You know, in my head, I'm thinking, I'm doing a good job. I'm, I'm cleansing things. Meanwhile, I'm disrupting spirits that were here ancient before I'm here. And I'm like, oh, man, what am I doing? And they said to make it up to them, I have to learn Spanish. 
And I said, why do I have to learn Spanish? And they said, because the native people of California now speak Spanish. And I said, oh, okay, okay. Because they were telling me I have to learn a new language. So I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> so. Huh? Lessons going. Yeah. Yeah. Lessons going. Yes, girl. Nobody could have taught me that. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know I was doing. I thought I was doing a good thing. <laughs> thought you were doing some exorcisms. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I was. I literally felt them telling me no. I heard them say no, no, please, no. But I'm thinking, you know. But I did get rid of any negative trickster spirits. But they, they explained to me it's like what an uh, antibiotic does. Gets rid of good and bad spirits, what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, shoot. Well, how do I get them back? <laughs> oh, so the white spirits work, though. They'll come back when needed. Or they they just go play hide and seek. They go play. Hide. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they were saying. They said, don't worry. They're going to come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're going to come back. Mm-hmm. And they were telling me that because I was saying, well, well, how do I because this land supposedly they were explaining to me now because I got rid of even the protector spirits, now I have the responsibility of protecting the land. Cause I you know, and I was like, Oh but well, see, I'm willing to do that too. How do I go about doing it? That's but, work and call on your ancestors. Yeah. That's when you work and call your ancestors. Cause yeah. they're, they're the only ones who really can help with. Yeah. I girl, all of this is new to me. But um But it's but you're true to it though. You might be new to it, but you're true to it. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to learn as much as possible and be respectful and not abusive of of anything. Mhm, 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 mhm. Mhm. Yes. Yes. Mhm. Mm yep. Be I feel I find that being respectful to self and to ancestors, that's like it right there. Because once you respect your ancestors and you respect yourself, you have no other reason not to respect anyone else, unless it's like, all right, I can't, I can't. That's what you like that. <laughs> Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, um... Hey, baby. <laughs> Jesse went to sleep. Yeah. Oh, dang. I'm sitting here. I went to five blocks and you went to sleep already. <laughs> Is that your youngest one? The baby, baby? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, yes, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse's night, night time. It is. Yep, it is. Aww. Oh, yeah, because it's like three, what, six, seven, eight, nine, nine o'clock over there? Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. That's beautiful. Uh -huh, but I mean, all right, well, I don't want to keep you, sister. Yes, I'm glad I joined. I'm glad I hopped on real quick. And we're running here to get some baby little diapers and head on out. All right, girl. Talk to you later. All right, love. Peace. Peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Colorado Ting. How are you doing? Who else is here? Sophia. What's going on? Let's see who's here. Mama Mystic is gone. Most I have Sophia, Colorado Bridge Elegance. What's going on? Yeah, I've been I've just been learning how to commune correctly with the land, with the spirits of the land, not to disrespect them because they're ancient. They're ancient and I respect them truly. And um yes, commune, just commune with them. Meditate, respect the lands, because there are spirits that protect the lands, that 
we do not see with our physical eyes, but they do exist and they are here and they're amongst us. Um, right here, particularly where I'm at, they're uh, the giants. The giants, I don't know if you guys heard of them. They're the ancient ancestors of the giants of the land of California. The ancestors of the Wakatui Nation, they tell me. The Wakatui Nation. They said, if I'm not embarrassed, we would like to speak to the people. They say, we see that you are a vessel, a great channel. Do you wish to speak to the Wakatui Nation? We would love to speak to you at this time. Hi, guys. How are you? How are you? I'm going to do a channel. I'm going to trust myself, and I'm going to channel the Wakatui Nations of California. And um, I'm a very powerful channel, so let's see what they have to say. Peace, peace. This gentleman here is really, really good. Duma, Duma. I can never say your name, so I'm not going to try it. <laughs> um, thank you for showing up. Thank you, peace, brother. I'm going to go ahead and channel and see what they have to say to me. I'm going to leave this up. I'm going to channel right now, okay? Oh, that's what I do. I channel. They said they're the Wakatui Nation. So let me close my eyes and channel. I will be leaving this up. They said we are the Wakatui Nation of the ancient times. They do not speak of us anymore. They forgot of us. We are the nations of the ancestry. We are the nations of the land. We watch over the land. We are the Native Americans of these lands. We have not left. We still exist. You do not see us, for we have ascended. We have rise. We are waiting for humanity to wake up and see that they are powerful and they too can ascend. We one, we can be one once more. We are the giants of the land. We watch over the land. We are the Wakatui nations. We still exist amongst you, humans. We watch you in resistance of your truths, in resistance of who you truly are. Powerful beings, glorious beings. We watch you through the nights. We watch you as you pray every day. You do not regard us. We are the land. We are the trees. We are the seas. We are always around you. Acknowledge us. We are the Wakatui Nation. The Wakatui. Walk to us. Talk to us. We guide you. We are the guardians of the lands. We are free. We are the eagles. We are the trees. We are the birds. Do you not see us? Do you not want to be free like us? Free yourselves, humanity, of your chains at this time. There's much, much, much setbacks in your ways. We are the Wakatui Nation. That is who we are. Do not forget us. I have never heard of such a nation. I do not, I have not heard of a uh, Wakatui Nation. The Wakatui Nation. I have never heard of that. I have to look that up. They say, yes, we're around you all the time, Melissa. Like where I'm at right now. Because earlier I was trying to cleanse my house. As I was cleansing my house, getting rid of spirits, I was actually disrupting the, 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 the guardians of this land. And I didn't know this. 
And a friend of mine was just on, and she was explaining to me a lot of these lands were built, a lot of these homes were built on sacred lands. So these spirits still linger, and originally they're guardians of the natures, but they end up guarding the houses instead of the, I mean, I guess they guard the trees as well and everything, but the house, the, the houses also become what they guard as well, if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So when you're, when I'm cleansing the house, it's like I'm technically in their territory and I'm kind of telling them to leave, but this is their place. So it's, it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. But yes, I need to look that up. I don't think they speak of the Wakatui. I've never heard of a, such a thing. So yes, we do exist. They said they're one of many giants that exist. The giants are the Native Americans that exist in the different dimension. So like the things that I speak of are things that you will not find everywhere unless you really do your research because I truly meditate. All of this is from meditation. All of humanity can do this stuff. You just have to meditate and, 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 and just and trust trust in you and what you get and you know it took it took it took me years but i officially am being more receptive and understanding understanding this stuff more and more oh. there's a bird right there they said the hawk the hawk is the greatest symbol for them that is their tribe symbol, the hawk. Oh, what I'm understanding is that there is a different dimension that exists within this realm that are they're having their own lives simultaneously with this life. They say whenever you see the hawk, that is their presence. The hawk is the symbol of the Wakatui Nation. They, they're very happy. They're surprised that I am picking up all of this. Wow. They're chanting. They're going, I can't do it, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you know, like, hey! like that, you know, that, that chant. They're doing that. The Native Americans of California, they exist. Wow. The Native Americans of California still exist. But they have ascended. They live simultaneously in this dimension, but in a different vibration. They say, whenever you see the hawk, that is who they are. Wow. And they say, like, the ancestors are trying to constantly come. They're trying to constantly communicate. But they can only communicate through the trees, through the birds. So they, they, you have to get out to communicate with them. You have to get out. You're in California? Well, beautiful. You, I'm in California. And it's not only in California. It's everywhere. Everywhere. But right now I'm in California, so I'm, I guess I'm talking to the Wakatui Nation. I don't know anything about the Wakatui Nation. I would have to meditate or maybe look. Because like, I was going to say I can Google it, but you know, Google is funny. Google is a little funny. <laughs> um, so the ancestors are here. Matter of fact, they told me the, I don't know if you were here earlier, I was explaining how I was trying to cleanse the house, but I end up disturbing the spirits that are native, like it's a whole thing. And so they said in order to, to make it up to them is to learn Spanish because the native people now speak Spanish. The native people are your Mexican people. They are native to this land. and. They said, yes, indeed. They said, there's no shame in that. They said, the people should know the truth. Um, I don't want to get into the politics of that. <laughs> they said, though, they said they just want people to reach out to Mother Nature and respect the land. There's much fight over the land, but there's no respect. There's no respect. There's no regards. There's no celebrations they said there used to be celebrations on the land on on the land i don't know if you understand like not in your house but like outside 
uh, in nature. Like, let me show you guys where I'm at right here. Right here, for example, out here in my backyard, right? So I guess that, let's, let's walk. Let's walk, guys. You guys are ready? Oh, my God, I'm dropping my stuff. Hold on. Okay, so these, the land, guys, you got to not be afraid to go outside. I know they got us wearing masks. I don't wear my mask, so I'm a little bit re re rebellious in that way. But you see this, the grass, the grass, guys. You sit down on the grass, you ground your feet. I don't want to show you my feet because it's all tore up. <laughs> but you ground your feet, guys. You have to come out in nature. The magic is in Mother Nature. The magic is out here, guys. The magic is not on CNN. <laughs> the magic is by the tree. I hug this tree. And she says she sees me from inside the house. Yes, I speak to the tree. I'm one of those tree huggers. <laughs> I speak to the trees, guys. Uh, I speak to Mother Nature. I am not ashamed of it. Yesterday, there was... Um, yesterday... Ah, my big old face. <laughs> yesterday, there was um, ducks here. Um, I have that video up. <laughs> Oh, Mother Nature supersedes everything. If you can't breathe air, nothing else matters. That is the highest truth. Um, and they just made me understand that there's another realm where people are having their own lives simultaneously. Because the truth is there is no time. I don't know how deep you guys, like, you understand that. I don't truly understand how it works, but I do understand there is no time. Whenever I me meditate to the mother, the mother always reminds me that none of this exists. I mean, it, it, you know, I can get real deep here, but I'm just going to keep it simple as the magic is out in nature, period. It's out in nature. It's out in nature, guys. And the spirits talk. The spirits talk if you listen. And even if you can't hear them, if you can hear the wind blowing, if you can hear the trees, the birds, the, the just, you know, just the nature's talking to you. Nature's there talking to you. You have to take the time to listen. Meditation is key because now you're observing with, with your soul. Yes, your soul. And your physical senses, obviously, as well. But when you sit down and take the time to breathe in and out and focus, focus, you focus, turn off the television, get off your phones, sit down, make time, and you focus. And you sit there and you breathe in and out and sort of integrate with spirit, the spirits of the oceans, the spirits of the land. You know, I don't want to get deep, too deep, but I am. This is, if you're here, you have to be deep, my friends, because that's, that's, that's the kind of level. That's what I bring here. I bring forth the metaphysics. I'm all about the healing. I'm all about humanity, my guys. I had a chant repeat in my head last week over and over again while in my garden different language. Now I'm realizing it sounds exactly similar to Wakatui. There you go. See the Wakatui Nation. The Wakatui Nation. They're trying to come forth. They said they're coming forth. They're coming forth through me because they realize <laughs> this sounds bad, but they're saying I'm one of the last hopes. Me, me and many others that are willing to take the chance to listen. The wakatui, the wakatui, the wakatui. And what you can do is channel them through meditation. Always, I always tell you, before you channel, always make sure you shield yourself. How do you do that? How do you do that? How do you, mind blown, <laughs> right? <laughs> do you want to go live? 
Tavar, Tavaro, Tavaro, or are you shy? Or we could just talk through here. It's fine. Um, but I, I would prefer to, if you could go live and tell us, speak of your experience. You know, tell us how this went. Um, anyway, I'm a clear channel. As many of you guys are, believe it or not, anyone can be a channel. You just have to trust your intuition. Be receptive. Allow nature to speak to you. Close your eyes. And yes, they exist in this dimension. So they were telling me there's a difference between dimension, realms. Oh, you're shy. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> it's fine. Um, oh, my God. I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, so there's different. There's dimensions. There's realms. And within the realms, there's, like, different realms. It's, like, it's so confusing. It's not confusing, but it's, like, I can't really get into it. So the Wakatui Nation, the Wakatui Nation exists on the lands. They exist. The Native Americans ascended. The Native Americans have ascended. Um, a lot of them ascended. Um, and they're waiting for us to ascend to join them as well. Hey, how are you? Um, we're talking about the Wakatui Nation and how Tavaro, I just had a channel from the Wakatui Nation. And I was like, could I channel a different Native American nation or anything like that? And yeah, <laughs> I guess. And there's basically their message is that humanity needs to go out in nature. We need to go out in nature. The spirits of the land are trying to communicate. And we also need to ascend. Ascension is, like I, my last video, is the feminine principle. And how I understood it isn't, isn't so much a gender thing as much as a principle. It's the principle of existence. The definition of feminine is creation, is healing, is intuition, is spirituality, is channeling. Matter of fact, Tavara, I would say that you tapped into your feminine aspect, the feminine aspect. That's why it comes off passive, because if you're only watching things from a physical perspective, you would have not realized it said Wakatui. That is so, oh my God, that is so bomb. I'm going to like, I'm totally going to um, put, I just took a snapshot of this. I don't know if you want me to do that. I, oh my God. That is so brilliant. Peace, peace, sister. What's going on? Oh, the ancestors are trying to reach out, guys. The ans well, right now for me, I in here out here in California. Um, I'm originally from Haiti. So so these are not necessarily my ancestors, but the ancestors. <laughs> Um, the ancestors, <laughs> the ancestors are people who are on the other side. They said they're guardians and Metua Wakatui is how it sounds in my head. That is probably correct. That is correct. Oh my God. Let me see if I can channel that. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Oh my God. I'm like, <sighs> yes, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Because that's just showing me how receptive I am to begin with. Okay, okay. Let's see what I get. If they, if they, if they say that's correct. If it's a met, metua waka tui. Let's see what that, what that even means or what it's that all about. All right. Let me see. Let me see. They say, yes, we are the great nation. The much forgotten nation of this land. Oh, I can really feel it. The Native American presence. We hear, we sing. He said, great, child. We've been trying to communicate with you. You hear us. You hear us. He said, keep listening to us. 
We're trying to speak to you. We're trying to give you more messages. Make sure you listen. We need you to wake up to your ability. You are much more powerful than you know. Uh, oh, they're telling me they don't want to invade my body. I don't want to spaz out here, guys, because I get I'm very receptive to spirit. I don't want to do a show. They're all, they want to integrate so badly. They want to speak. I said, we want to speak. We want to speak. We wish to speak to them. We want them to know we exist. Oh, Melissa, we did not know you were so receptive to us. We wish to speak to them. Oh, Melissa, you must speak. You must speak. You must speak their truth. You must speak the truth, Melissa. Let them know we still exist. Oh, once again, they're like, ah, I can't do it, and I'm not going to. They said, we respect your vessel, so we will not intrude. But we did not know you were so receptive. We did not know you can hear us. We would have been talking to you like this. Oh, my God, you're receptive. You can hear us like a channel, like a phone. Oh, my God, guys. I'm I'm very receptive. I do speak to spirit like this. The Wakatui Nation is the real nation, and they say they exist, and we exist, and we continue to exist, and we will continue to exist. Period. We are a humble nation. We are the nation. We exist. We exist beyond the trees. Forevermore we will. We are the Wakatui Nation. We are the nation. Do you understand that? We are the Wakatui, the Wakatui Nation. We still exist, people. We still exist. We have not been defeated. Do you understand that? We are the Wakatui Nation. We do not fear anything or anyone we exist oh my neighbors officially i know they think i'm crazy it's official they're gonna kick me out of this place <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh my God, they're going to kick me out. God forbid. <sighs> yes, it was masculine though. This guy was masculine. He's masculine. He's the head chief, he would say. He's the headquarters. We are the headquarters. We speak to you now. Wow, I need to make an appointment to really talk to them, to really see... They say, you need not make an appointment. What do you want to say? We can speak now if you wish. Tell the people what we say. Just speak. You can be our voice if you wish. Just call on to us with respect. We will lend, we will lend you a helping hand. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> we will help you, in other words. We will give you a helping hand. We will help you. Just call us. Oh my God, this must be your ancestors. This must be your ancestors. I don't know, you guys, what is going on here. Wow, this is really, really deep. This is a blessing. The Wakatui Nation. The Met Tua Wakatua. Yes. They said you should chant the name. They said chant the Meta Metua Wakatua. They said you should chant it. They said it's a song. Metua Wakatua. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Metua Wakatui Tua. What happened? Did I speak to 
Animation? Hmm. I said, why are you doubting yourself? You're way powerful. No, just, I can't it. believe I just talked to her. Oh. Yes, I'm on my way. No, can't use that word. She's so sweet. She peed? Yeah, I think she's not so sweet. I'm out here. My daughter's out here. Wow, stop it, mom. That is brilliant. Yes. Wow. They're they're for sure they're communicating with you. You should communicate back with them. They want to talk to you. That's obviously the case. Stop. No, I just changed her. Let me see. She's fine. Give her to daddy. Oh, sorry, guys. I have, I have three kids, a little baby. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Wow. Walk it. Oh, my God. Now I'm going to go do that. I'm going to light a candle. I'm going to do that. Oh, my God. There is a, such a thing. That was different. I've never had nothing like that ever happened to me wow wow guys i know y'all just gonna be looking at me like i'm crazy but that's what just happened right now okay <laughs> that is crazy listen you need to because i'm gonna leave this up later so whoever's gonna observe this humanity tap in with the lands Wherever you are, in whatever state you are in, they're telling me there's burial grounds. That's what it is. There's so many burial grounds, so many sacred places that have been dis disrupted. And there's like, they're just explaining to me, like, they're giving me a feeling of like, they're so angry at humanity for their ignorance. They said at this point, it's ridiculous. Whew. They're angry. They're so angry. They said, we're so mad at you guys for being stupid. Wow. <laughs> Is the humanity, do you really think you're the only ones that exist? Still? Still. They said, don't you think there's life around you? Do you not see the trees? I said, how do you think they grow? <laughs> I swear to you, I'm not going crazy. This is what Spirit is telling me at this moment. Oh, I'm ascending with them. I'm not getting left behind with y'all. No, no, no. You better tap in. Tap in is simply being recepting, re receptive, allowing, allowing Mother Nature to connect with you. This, um, I'm not sure. I think it's a, a, the young gentleman heard the same. I'm sure this is all for a reason. Nothing is for, like a mistake. This young gentleman heard the same thing I just heard. They just came to channel to me. The natives have not, they're not gone. Like they said, they have ascended. A lot of these natives have ascended people. Ascended, meaning there's a different dimension. There's not only this physical dimension that exists. There's a different physical dimension that exists somewhere else. And they're having a, they're saying they're having a gathering right now. And they're asking me if I want to join later. They said I have to be very perceptive to understand that one. I would have to sit down and really sit down in meditation for that. And then I would have to accept that that one because they understand that i have limitations to my abilities at this time but they said i'm more than welcome they said they would love to talk to someone that actually believes that they exist and knows that they exist and actually can perceive and listen they said that's better than nothing else so i will say i am a woman in this life my energy is masculine though okay okay that's very possible. I've met um, females that have masculine souls. I don't want to get into that. 
it's very um the end of the day these are just costumes everything essentially is energy so i don't want i don't want to get controversial on on stuff like that <laughs> um everything is, is simply energy but yeah i have um i've had readings where because i do readings you know i have the, i have these gifts might as well use them um where where physically they are female but they their soul energy or their higher selves we would deem it masculine like i'm female 100% i have three kids but my soul is androgynous my soul is androgynous both so that's a whole subject on its own and i if you read anything about the hermetic principles the seven hermetic principles i i didn't see if i can remember all seven let's see ooh let's see so you have thought i'm not going to say it in order i know that thought cause and effect gender down I think there's vibration there's music there's a whole bunch of stuff there's so many principles seven principles seven hermetic principles the kabbalion and then i have the book the initiation into the seven hermetic principles so it tells you how to use these principles so it gets really deep really deep it's really deep anyway guys i am not biased to any race religion gender anything i just am here to help heal and the only thing i care about is mother nature mother nature mother nature can stop this whenever she wants so and obviously also the the beings and ancestors that have ascended these beings have ascended they're here they simul they exist simultaneously in this with us in this dimension watching us they're above us so they can see us we can see them if we rise if we meditate if you meditate and 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 get in touch with that i would say that feminine aspect which simply means that the receptive energy to perceive the intuition anyway that was deep that was very 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 deep that was deep guys oh my god let me write down the name of this is it still okay here it is okay. metua waka tui wow that is deep <laughs> oh my god okay guys so i'm going to leave this video up because it was so profound for me i've never channeled a nation before <laughs> Because they keep saying because of the burial grounds. Oh my God, that's messed up. Is this on a burial ground? I said, yes, a very, 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 very sacred burial ground. Wow. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. Okay. I have to look into all of this. This is like... This is some deep stuff, guys. I have to look into that. What is going on here? What is going on here, guys? I will be back on tomorrow around the same time, 5, 6 o'clock Pacific time. <laughs> it's going to be 7 o'clock right here. All right, guys. You hear me? Speak to the lands, the earth, the air. Meditate. Drink water. Lots of water eat healthy um i'm not perfect i don't eat healthy but i do ma i maintain my hydration that's one thing i do try to do and meditation meditation that's the only way i was i'm able to be so receptive it's not because no one's everyone could do this you could do it i could do it you could do it we all could do it all right peace peace and blessings to you guys much love Bye. <laughs> you guys are wonderful.